Greetings audience, my name is Sacrificial and welcome back to my channel. Today we have something very, very, very exciting. We are testing out the open world mod by Ernie. We all have been waiting for this uh, for a very long time. Um, and it's finally out in its uh, beta release. Uh, I believe this is version 0 0.21 and the mod is still going to receive more updates and more content until it's finally, you know, released uh, in its um, final form, let's say. <laughs> um, this is only out for Patreon for now, so if you have, you know, if you'd like to support Arnie, you can go to his Patreon and get this beta release right now this is not exclusive for like youtubers or content creators whatsoever it's out for everyone but you have to support him on patreon and rightfully so i mean this project is a huge he's been working on it for months maybe a year even and he deserves like every single you know penny that you support him with but am i live though I'll be bummed if I've been talking all of this without... Yeah, I think I'm live, but I cannot see the chat. So let me put the chat on the screen. Um, Hold on. Chat. Eons. Okay. Check. Yeah, this should be right. I can't see the chat for some reason. Um, test. I can see the chat on one of my screens, but I cannot see. Oh, I think I have the Sims like. No, I don't. Um, God damn it. <laughs> I'm trying to put the chat on top of the screen, but um, it's not working for some reason. Uh, please give me a moment. Some technical difficulties. Hmm. Okay, so this works. Okay, this is very strange. Um, all right, chat. Okay, I'm gonna not put it on the screen for now. I'm gonna attempt to do that later. So apologies that you're not showing up on the screen, but I can read it. So hello, uh, Calfi Perry, Zombie Zom. <laughs> that name. Um, Caesar Boom, 21st Century Danny A. Um, Chim Chimia Fontani A. All right, and let's get started. So I'm gonna be trying out my mods in the open world, like the extreme violence autonomy, for example, like killing and stuff. Uh, maybe the zombie apocalypse, uh, the life tragedies, and we're gonna see how things are gonna go, so. Let's, all right, so what you need to do, I believe, is go to load game and select the open world save file. And then, look at this loading screen, y'all. This is, I love this. This looks amazing. Game data incomplete. Right, and I believe the reason is because I don't have some packs like Star Wars, for example. Um, he said that get to work is required and also state of living as essentials, but... The more packs that you have, the better this mod is going to be because the more content is going to show up in your game. Um, but I believe that in order to start this, you can either play story mode by selecting this household or I believe you can select any household that you want and then cheat the game by going to the mail mailbox and selecting to go to open world. But... I'm gonna just jump into story mode for now, play just a little bit of it, and then, you know, try my mods. Hopefully this works correctly, because I don't know if I've uninstalled it correctly or not. This is my first time launching it. I wanted to launch it with you guys. Alright. I think I fucked up. <laughs> um, I th okay, I either fucked up, I didn't uninstall this correctly, or it's given me a... An error because I don't have all the packs. And that's fine if that's the case. Um, work plane. Work plane. Right. He said that the airport requires Star Wars or Journey to Batuu. So 
I believe that's the reason why I'm getting a last exception and that's totally fine. Um, it just told me that, you know, the airport did not launch correctly. So it's fine. So currently I believe we're in Willow Creek, right? Or is this Brooklyn Heights? I'm confused. <laughs> um, no, this looks like Willow Creek. So I might have messed something up. Um, but I believe you can go to the ward from the mailbox. So let's try that out. Um, yeah, looks like I fucked up, girl. God damn it. <laughs> hey, hello, everyone. Welcome, if you're new. Uh, if you have uninstalled... I mean, he has a video explaining it. I didn't watch the video. I read the text. I believe I've done things correctly. Uh, but it looks like I did not. It looks like I fucked up. Um, so I'm going to look into the installation process and hopefully you know i can correctly do this all right let's see so it says on the website to uninstall all of these i have i'm pretty sure that i have installed everything correctly however once this is done you should be able to load the game if you get the error code 804 i don't think i have done gotten that all right, load game. When you enter the game, cho choose load game. You will find the... Oh, oh, my bad. Okay, my bad. My dumb ass. Okay, I didn't need to go to this lot. I had to go to the other lot, which has an exclamation point on it. Right. So this one, not this one. I'm not sure why this one isn't here, but anyway. Uh, I believe I have to go to this one. So... Yes, uh, let's uh, go. Um, hey, noblesse, London, you suck. <laughs> Wait, this is still... <sighs> okay, I fucked up. I think because I loaded them, maybe first, I need to load that first. So, I'm gonna try again. Really? You, 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 you're gonna call yourself you suck and... What kind of name is that? You suck and... <laughs> anyway, welcome to the stream. Um, all right, let me see. For now, Brooklyn Heights will only appear if you load this save file. Okay, if you want to can play story mode, um, you click on that, all right. Uh, I click on the mailbox. Right, so let's try again. Breaking the mold, breaking the mold. Did you replace the files? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I uninstalled everything. I'm pretty sure. Items removed. All right. I cannot believe that I <laughs> cannot figure how to do this. I'm embarrassed. Like I'm, I'm a modder. All right, and I deal with file installations all the time, and I fucked up, so I am extremely embarrassed. Um, maybe I have to select... No, but she's here also, right? Right. My bad. All right. Um, do you like men or women? What the... F what kind of question? I mean... I mean, it's fine to ask such a question, but, like, it is so out of context. Like, you only ask this if you're attracted to someone. Like, okay, um, I have a confession for you. Um, I kind of like you. Do you like men or women? Because if you don't like men, I cannot talk to you or we cannot have, you know, something. But what? <laughs> Boy... All right, let me see. I'm having crazy issues on installing the mod. Happy to see you playing live. Thank you. I'm struggling too, but it's my um, it's my issue. I think I've messed up somewhere. I should have done this like before I started the live stream, but I wanted to be surprised. I wanted you know to do this um, you know with you guys, but this is what what happens when you want to be surprised. 
All right, let me try again. So let me see why I fucked up. So I have installed the graphics. I've installed the mods and CC correctly. I've installed the save file, the game, the words, the camera system. I've installed all of this. Um, maybe my mods are like buried because I like installed the mods directly. Maybe I needed to remove them from the file. That's what's wrong. All right. Let me do the mods really quick. So instead of having them buried inside multiple subfolders, I'm going to remove that. And I'm going to take all of these and I'm going to put them right here. I am so embarrassed. Like a modder cannot figure out how to install a mod. How embarrassing. All right. So I removed them from the subfolder. So hopefully this will work. Did you enable... They're al already enabled, unless the game has disabled them. But no, I don't think it disabled them, because I did get the last exception and stuff. So I believe that's, you know, they're enabled. Alright. How's the lighting? Ooh, alright. Let me just make sure that it, they are enabled. Yeah, they are enabled, okay. Load game. Brooklyn Heights, go. This is completely my fault, by the way. Uh, like, Arnie has a video explaining how to install this, and he has detailed text. I thought that I uh, followed it correctly, but looks like I didn't. So it's my bad. It's my bad, y'all. <clears throat> All right. Game data incomplete. I understand. It's because I don't have all the packs. Right. I'm gonna choose. Okay, let's see. <laughs> There's a painting in the house that starts the story. Really interesting. Okay. Yeah, I'm still here. <sighs> maybe the story does start here. You know, maybe they do start here and I have to do something in order to go to Brooklyn Heights. But I'm missing up somehow. So, this is the painting. Examine picture. Oh, what is that? Brooklyn Adventure Store. You're about to start Brooklyn Heights Adventure. Your son will quit their job to travel to the world. Family picture. I love this picture. What is going on? Yeah, something's some, not right. Something's not right. I fucked up. Entered the Brook Adventure Story mode career. Amos is now uh, a Brook High Adventure Story mode. He starts Sunday. Oh, so is he gonna go to Brooklyn Heights at Sunday at 9 a.m.? And now, you know, I, I'm starting the game here. Is it supposed to start the game here? Vacation available three days. I see, so maybe this is correct. Maybe we didn't fuck up or anything. Maybe we do have to wait until, you know, um, this happens. Is that correct? All right, thank you. Thank you so much, Monique. I didn't know that. I thought I was, like, messing up. But I'm wondering, wondering why um, I don't have the cheat on the mailbox. Because I believe I read it that you can actually go to Brooklyn Heights from the mailbox. Um, all right. Cheat. Don't worry. Don't want to play story mode? Click your mailbox and choose go to Brook, Brook Heights. Am I pronouncing that correctly? Oh, there we go. I didn't have to press shift. My bad. Let me see the chat, make sure. All right. <gasps> oh! Oh! We did it! <laughs> Y'all! 
it worked. It was working all along, but my dumb ass thought that the game is going to start inside the ward. But no, you actually have to like either start story mode or go to the mailbox. Yo, we did it! <laughs> Holy sh Okay, I'm I'm so excited. Um, first of all, first of all, look at this. Look how beautiful and amazing this looks. I mean, oh my god. <sighs> I need to increase my screen's brightness though. So let me do that. Cause I can't really see that much because of the ring light and stuff. Okay. Oh my God. <sighs> All right. So this is the lounge, right? We have a lot of things. Um, oh my God, look at this. Are these apartments for other Sims? Are these like other Sims apartments? And what is this? Oh, is that the building? Apply for work. Oh my god, it's this city hall. And this is... I'm not sure what this is, but it's something. Um, wow, um, there are a lot of things in here, holy. This is the parking lot, I believe. You fill your gas in here. I did watch uh, his video, uh, the walkthrough to, you know, get familiar with the mod a little bit. But still, there are a lot of things, girl. Damn. And we arrived by the plane. That is amazing. Look at the spotlights. Oh, that looks so good. I don't know if this is from the game, but it looks so good. <laughs> I don't think I've seen it before. All right. Amazing. Change the water. It looks beautiful at night with normal um, northern lights. All right. So let's put this to sunny. Even though I love the rain, honestly, I am a cold loving person. I love rain. So this is, you know, this makes me happy. It's because you haven't slept all day. No, I did sleep this time. <laughs> I did sleep. I slept for... A lot of time, actually, but I woke up like a few hours ago, so I'm not that. He's drowning? Th what the fuck is that? Th th thalassophobia from being near the ocean. The water looks deep. What the hell? What ocean? Boy, it is a fountain. It's not an ocean. Calm down. All right. Let's see Arnie. He's a creative music lover and a muser. Nice. All right, I'm gonna let the game load for a couple of uh, sim minutes until... Oh my God, yeah, it... look at that. It does look better without the rain. Yeah, I can see clearly now. Look at all the options. These were hidden when it was raining. I couldn't see them. Okay, so this is open venue. Entrance fee. Oh, this is the gym. All right. And this is a hotel. Um, Is it a rabbit hole or? No, it's not. What the? Yo. <laughs> I'm sorry. I think I have like ADD or ADHD or something. So this, like all of these stuff are making me a little bit confused and not focused because there are so many things at once but look at how many places you can visit and this is only like the beta version 0 0.2 imagine how many things there are going to be once like the official version comes out uh he said that this part over there like is going to be accessible by you so far you can only come this far but in the future updates, you'll be able to go there. Oh my god. That is amazing. <sighs> now, this is this is what a mod is. My mods are trash. <laughs> like, look what he did. All I did is make your sims kill each other, have diseases, and die. But he made open world, y'all. Look at this. Fucking hell. <laughs> 
What is this? Hold on. This looks cool. Um, go near war tag. Okay. Um, does someone live here? Because I see... This is kind of creepy. Oh, someone died here? Ooh. Do we have mysteries also? Like, do we have, like, storylines that maybe someone was murdered? It looks like someone was murdered in here, though. This looks sketchy. Okay, let me focus. I'm sorry. First of all, we need to eat. So, what is this? Um, does it say? You can actually name this to whatever you like. Um, but I'm not going to for now. Oh, this is a hospital. Okay, I, I need to go to a cafe. Oh my god. All right, hey boy, can you please give me something to drink? Uh, kidnapping. <laughs> Kidnap. Um, order food. Pita and hummus. Okay, do that. This looks like the bar from a game called Drunken Bar Fight. It's for VR. It is so fun, but also it makes you dizzy. So if you actually play it, um, you get dizzy because of motion sickness and stuff. Yeah, no loading screens at all. You can buy a car. Um, yeah, I saw that in the walkthrough video and I'm going to get into it. I die for your mods. Thank you. I appreciate you. Lily Brown. Hey. Welcome to this stream. I'm sorry that this is too late, by the way. Usually I stream like six hours earlier, but I woke up so late and I really wanted to try this out. So, um, what are, what are you doing? Hello. <laughs> Boy. Can you please give me the food? I'm hungry. Bitch, if you don't give me my food, I will rip your heart out and eat it. Do it. What is he doing? Order food. Let's do that again. Hi. Give me my food, please. I do have a lot of mods uninstalled, by the way. Um, so... Maybe something is, you know, conflict, not conflicting, but affecting something else. I'm not sure, but I'm happy that, you know, this loaded and oh my God, this looks so beautiful. Holy shit. This looks better than like the Sims 3 open world for real. All right. Give me my food. All right, bitch. I'm done waiting. Nope, I, I gave you two chances. No, not not exciting services. Um, rip heart out. I'm sorry, um, Amos. I know you're not about this life. I know that you're a nice person and everything, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. You know, I'm hungry and he's not giving me my food. So, oh, he dodged it. I'm gonna try that again. Oh, who are you? Hold on. Um, entertainer. Ooh. All right, let's let's try again. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> he <laughs> he smacked us with a bottle <laughs> while holding our food. Boy. I'm I'm so loud, by the way. Like my neighbors are sleeping. I'm so sorry for my neighbors. Please don't. Wake up. I hope that... What the... What kind of fitness skill do you have? Wait, what is Amos's fitness? He doesn't have a fitness skill. This guy probably has, like, maxed. Let me see. How, how How's your fitness skill doing? Fitness. Level 2. He's not even that strong, but he's stronger than us, though. Oh, no, you won't. <laughs> Are we dead? Or can he not die? Hey. 
We fucked up. Bring the girl, Amelia. We need your help. You need to tell the bitch ass Reaper that we don't want to die. Hello? <laughs> Fucking hell. I am so sorry. The poor guy. He's been waiting to visit this ward for years and my dumb ass done got him killed on his first day. Girl. And he's still holding our food. Alright, I'm gonna get my revenge though. Plead. I'm gonna have to wait for him. I am so sorry, y'all. <laughs> what is he doing? My motherfucker dancing on our corpse? He's gonna be extra dead. Forced to revive. This is, by the way, my after death helper mod. It adds options to, you know, force the Grim Reaper to either end or revive the sim. And if he already died, we can also revive him. So even if he did not bring us, bitch, look how he's dancing, motherfucker. I will get him. I'm gonna increase my fitness skill. What's your fitness skill doing? She's on level one. I'm gonna set it to five and murder his ass. All right. There we go. Where is she? Why is she taking so long? Girl, we probably, she done, done ran over twice. And this girl too. Normally, I would click on her, select Sim Torments, and have her get ran over by a car, because that's what happened. But I need her. I need her to, <laughs> I need her to revive him, so I'm not going to do that. Why is you in your lingerie? The fuck? She's a stripper. All right. Lag. The game lags anyway, by the way. The ward was running smoothly before, but my game seems to lag every once in a while, regardless. So it's not from the mod itself, it's the game. All right. He's still here. I'm gonna get your ass. Put a blouse on. Okay, let's uh, give her clothes. Outfits, switch to everyday. This is my life manager mod. It has this feature that allows you to switch outfits really, really quick. All right, get to work, baby. Do it. All right, there seems to be a simulation lag. A simulation lag usually happens when there are too many sims on the active lot. So since this is an open world and I think there are more sims than usual, uh, we might experience simulation lag for a bit. Hey, all right, we're back. We are back. I'm gonna have his fitness skill increase. Uh, so go jogging. He's still dancing. I'm coming for your ass. Trust me. All right. Turn this shit off. Oh, he's threatening. And he's still grabbing our food. Motherfucker. Where's he going? What, what is he? Wait. Bitch. We paid for that food, and he's running away with it. Is he going home? Mother, at least he gave us our food. He put it on the ground. At least. So let's take that. We'll take revenge later. Let's go get a car for now. So... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. My bad. Um, all right. Uh, when Amos came back to life, shoot the bartender. Don't let him get away. He already got away for now, but we will. We will get revenge. Don't worry. All right. Where do I buy a car from? Grocery store. Open build. City hall. 
International Bank, Ministry of Wow, there are so many buildings. Gas station. No, you don't buy cars on in the car sta uh, gas station. John's Garage. There we go. Uh, go to John's Garage. It's John is not here. His garage is closed now. Check the opening hours and come back later. What's the opening hours? From 9 a.m. All right, let's wait for 9 a.m. This is amazing. There's also like opening time, like opening times for shops and buildings. I love this. All right, so he's going to get the... No, he's jogging. But he's going to go to get his food. All right. I'm having so much fun already, even though I'm not even doing anything. I'll probably, like, um, cut this stream into funny moments and stuff and upload it. I've done that once with the island living, and it was really fun to do. So, all right. We only have two hours to eat it. Then it's going to be spoiled. So, you better hurry up. All right. Um, I have to go. Dinner is ready. Have fun. Enjoy your dinner, girl. I'm also hungry, by the way. I'm probably not going to last for long. <laughs> I'll go, like, soon. But I really wanted to try this out. Uh, it will be great, funny uh, moments video. Thank you. I'm glad that you think that way. Um, all right. It's 9 um, a.m. Let's go to Johnny's Garage. And there we go. Let's get ourselves a car. Wait, it it's just nine. Okay, let's wait for Johnny. I want to see how jo is it Johnny or John? I think it's John. Yeah, it's John. I want to see what John look like though. Oh, the light is gone. See, my game is random. Like. It sometimes lags and sometimes it doesn't. All right. And I still cannot put the chat on the screen for some reason. But I, it will be displayed on the right section of the live stream after it's done. Um, all right. Amelia taking first steps into culinary. All right. No, no, no. Oh, it's open. Johnny's here. He needs to pee. All right, let me pee real quick before I go. And this is a mod that I'm working on. <laughs> Hopefully, I'm going to release it this month. It allows you to pee anywhere. So we can pee here. Once the simulation lag is gone. Come on, boy. Don't be shy. You can do it. All right. Nice. Now, let's go. Get, oh, he needs a shower. God damn it. Let's go get a car. Um, Johnny's garage. This is amazing. I cannot believe that we're doing this. All right. <laughs> it's an out of 10 P mod. <laughs> I'm still working on it. I want to add the feature to actually poo also anywhere. And I want to add it to female sims. So I still need to work on some animations and stuff. But yeah. All right. Let's get a car. All right. So we have two. John's garage. Uh, the thumbnail is not here. I think because of... Um, I don't have the Star Wars pack. I might be wrong. Okay. We have two cars. We can either have a truck or a bus. Uh, I'm going to get the bus because it's red. And I love the color red. So, yeah. Practice. No, don't practice singing. Um, all right. So, this is the car. Add to favorites, travel, set as favorite. Thanks for purchasing the items as, okay. 
Now, how do I drive bike here? Stop practicing singing. Does it say bike here for everyone? Or did I mess up with the installation? Um, I think I did not install this the text correctly, or maybe because it's in beta still. So uh, that's so necessary. I cannot wait to be uh, on other people's houses. <laughs> I knew it. I knew you guys are gonna use that mod that way. You're gonna be peeing in other people's houses, pooing in their houses. J just like that, you're not gonna use it for like its intention to fulfill your need. All right, let's get out of this area because I don't think he can do it in there. Okay, oh, what is that? Is that a junkyard? <gasps> I waited. <laughs> It is the open cinema. Oh, I y'all, I love this. I, I don't have this in my country, unfortunately, but I, I wish I did. This is amazing. It, it it's the best, y'all. I'm gonna try that out. I wanna try that out. It opens at 8 p.m., so I will I will try it out. And we have all kinds of snacks: ice creams, hot dogs. Uh, Chinese food, French fries. All right. And also, if you guys, if, if you're a fan of Lana Del Rey, she has a music video called um, Su uh, "Not Summertime." <sighs> yeah, it is summertime. No, it's not. Summertime, and a living's easy. God damn it. Let me check. I, I'm embarrassed as a Lana Del Rey fan. Lana Del Rey. Summertime. And the living's easy. Oh, it's doing time. It's not summertime. All right. The lyrics are summertime. I sound like shit right now. <laughs> Whoa, I love you. You're an icon. Thank you. I will appreciate you. I need to place it in Word before. Thank you for the tip. I didn't know that. Um, I will defend Arnie if he ever gets sued by EA. <laughs> Imagine if EA sued Arnie. Like, oh, how dare you create a mod that makes the game better than the developers themselves. The fact that EA has a whole team and makes really bad content and you and this guy who made this mod uh, work so hard and makes such good mod content way better than EA. Oh my god, I love doing it by landing the way. It's called doing time. Thank you. Thank you so much for everything. All right, so this is what I needed to do. Thank you, uh, Noblesse. I needed to first place it in Word and then drive it. So now... I can, oh, there we go. There we go. Route vehicle here. I already seen this in his producer video, but I'm going to look at it again. All right. Let's go, boy. All right, we're currently experiencing simulation lag. There we go. Oh, shit. Wait, is that water? Look at this effect, y'all. I think because it was raining, there's like, oh my god, this looks amazing. Look at that. It also has a sound. Wow. Yo. Okay, can I do, I don't think I can do this. But I'm okay. Let me fulfill his needs because we're trying a lot of things. Um, he used the jet ski enemy and sound. Oh, I see, but it fits though. <laughs> it looks like you know, there's a lot of water because you know, there has been rain on the streets. Okay, I know this is not gonna work because he's inside a vehicle. 
But I wonder what would happen if I choose the one sim over interaction from the extreme violence. I don't think the animation is going to play because he's inside a vehicle and stuff. I've tried it with the bike before and it didn't work. So I don't think it's going to work with the car. But it's worth giving it a shot. Let's see. I think he's going to instantly die. Yeah, looks like it. Um, yeah, so the animation doesn't play correctly. But he still died, though, which is good. <clears throat> All right. Can we go with the car anywhere? Like, can I go here with the car? Oh, sh yeah, we can. That is amazing. All right. Uh, so, where should we go next? Let's see. I want to take revenge on that motherfucker who killed me. Where is he? He's here, right? Oh, it's not his shift yet. I think he comes at night. All right, we will wait at night. It's fine. Or, oh, we cannot call him over because um, uh, he won't accept that because he hates us. All right, we'll wait. It's fine. We can wait. Hey, sup, Dizzy does a thanks. Welcome to the stream. You guys, the models are the grace for this game. Thank you so much for your efforts. No, thank you guys for supporting us, honestly. Like... As I said in my video previously, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you and absolutely not my mods either. Like, even if I, you know, didn't do anything crazy and continued to, you know, live. If my, like, first mods did not get support or anything, if you guys did not care about them, I wouldn't have been interested in it i'm like okay i love doing this but i cannot put my effort into it because no one else likes it you know so i would have stopped i would have been like okay this is only for me and no one likes it so i'm gonna have to do other things um you know for a living uh which means that probably 90 percent of the mods wouldn't be here maybe or maybe not i don't know I mean, I would still have done it for fun, but if you guys didn't enjoy it as well, I wouldn't have shared it, I guess. I don't know. All right, let's see. So this is the city hall. This is the Minister of Labor. Musical theater. Ooh. International bank. Grocery store. Fashion store. Oh, let's go to the fashion store. And, girl, it's not even a, like a rabbit hole. You can actually come here and purchase outfits. All right, let's see. What outfit do I want to buy? Y'all, Sims 2 nostalgia. Remember when Sims 2 actually did this? I know that you can do this in The Sims 4 if you have get to work, but... It's not, you know, everywhere. I wish it was, like, implemented in every single ward that you can purchase whatever outfit that you, that you want without you having to create them. Okay, I like this outfit, so I'm going to come here and purchase it. Plus, in The Sims 2, um, you didn't own all the outfits in your closet. You actually had to purchase the outfit in order for it to you know be in your closet he's all we just had a car accident if this game had collision they would have had an accident oh my god he entered <laughs> he done entered the store with his car boy all right
I think when I pause the game, it helps with the simulation lag. So whenever your sim is like stuck doing something, pause the game, and I think that helps. All right. Um, let's see the new outfit. Oh my god, he's covered in blood. I'm gonna wash that off. Um, did I not get it? Is it this one? Uh, I, I'm not very familiar with the retail system, so I'm not sure where it has been placed. Maybe every day? No. Cold weather, hot weather. I mean, the only thing that has two is the athletic. Oh, there it is. It's the athletic. My bad. Um, it, it was just loading. There we go. Now, let's go home. Where's my home, by the way? We are here as a visitor, right? So, do I need to rent a hotel room? Or can I buy an apartment, maybe? Let me put on the chat. Um, I'm back, luckily. Wait, let me see everything. You saw my Star Wars video. Love your, your mouth. Oh, thank you. I did see it. Yeah, you posted it. And uh, <laughs> at first I was like, oh, I finally got the Star Wars back. And I was like, okay. But then when I watched it, you actually didn't. You just got the extreme violence and uh, performed the Star Wars skills. That was amazing. <laughs> I loved your video, by the way. Lily Brown, um, I'm back. Dinner didn't go on too long. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm hungry. I need to prepare food. I live alone, so I have to cook everything, but I like cooking. So that's amazing. It's good. Um, all right. So we have apartments, right? But I don't know how to rent one. And I believe people live here. So, oh, I can just sleep. Whatever. <laughs> Let's go. I'm a ghetto ratchet ass person, so I don't care. Well, wait, drive it with your car. Let's crash into the building with our car. If Arnie is watching this, he's, he probably is like crying right now. He's like, what are you doing with my mod? I've been working on this for years and your dumb ass is breaking it in every way possible. I'm sorry, Arnie, if you're watching this, I don't mean to, but this is how I play the game. <laughs> All right, um, where the apartments went? Yo, this map is huge. It's bigger than my, shh, stop, don't say that. Never, okay, uh, apartments, <laughs> I suck, yo. All right, so City Hall, music, John's Garage, City Hall. <laughs> Where is the garage? <laughs> On the active lot in the middle, in here? Oh, I was staying away from it because it was like loaded. I, I was like, okay, no, it's not it. Right, there it is. Thank you, Noblesse. You're being so helpful. You've helped me so much so far. Thank you. Um, me driving like, <laughs> you can't tell because blood, probably, I'm gonna take a shower, um, I can't wash the blood off on himself if I click on him, but I'm gonna wash him off in the shower, because we're being fancy with this new mod and stuff, to experience it better, uh, do, do it on a clean mods folder, it's so much better, you think so? But I cannot live without mods, you know? <laughs> Bam! If this was like... If this game had collision, his car would have went to space by now. 
And we would have had two car accidents. Jesus Christ. <laughs> You're welcome, Dizzy. Yeah, I cannot play the game without mods. Um, oh, he did leave his car. I was hoping that he's gonna like run, you know, with his car upstairs. Like, um, especially the cheat extension mod. And this is going to sound narcissistic, but I also use my mods with when I play the game. So the mods that I cannot live without um, are cheat extension, extreme violence, because <laughs> Sims be getting all my nerves all the time. So I do have to like, you know, use it on them. I also use the Road to Fame occasionally. And what else? My other mods like the zombie apocalypse, it depends whether I'm playing, you know, a zombie save file or not. We have life tragedies. <sighs> All right. There are a lot of mods out there. But either way, I cannot remove my mods of my mods folder because I like to keep them for testing purposes. So I, I need to make sure that everything is working correctly all the time. And, you know, there are no less exceptions whatsoever. So I cannot even remove them. All right. Is there a... Sh I love how we just, like, went inside, like, um, an empty apartment and started using everything. It's not my fault. Why didn't the landlord lock the apartment doors, you know? Alright, so I just seen someone. Okay, so she lives here. Y'all. This is her house. Look at this amazing stuff. So, not only the whole ward is open, but also you have neighbors that live next door if you, like, rent this apartment. And you can visit them without a loading screen. EA is bullshit, however, the ward is not open, it's a closed ward, and if you live next door to Sims, you have to go through a loading screen. What kind of bullshit is that? I mean, I understand that it's optimized that way by EA for performance, but girl... It's 2020, you couldn't optimize the game in 2020 to have, like, an open apartment? Are you kidding me? Alright. Alright, wake up. The blood is already off, so, yeah, we don't even need to wash it off. But, let's take a shower anyway. Alright, this girl is taking care of herself, she's eating, she's having fun. And meanwhile, we are exploring the mod. <laughs> oh, thank you, Lily. I appreciate that. I'm sorry if I it sounded narcissistic. By the way, yesterday I downloaded a mod for better looking bodies. It makes them look like more 3D and stuff. And look at that. Okay, the camera is way too fast. Um, <laughs> calm down, Jesus. All right, there we go. It has like, you know, the love handles. It has 3D nipples. It has 3D six packs. I like that. Um, I can't, I plan to make separate saves with your mods and I'm gonna do challenges with your mods today to make them harder. Nice, I'm, I, have, I hope that you're gonna have a lot of fun with them. Ah, uh, no bless. I cannot enjoy the game without mods, but once he ge uh, give us the ability to import wards on our saves, oh my god. Yeah, he did say that, but I, I cannot do that. Like, I get so distracted. I cannot believe how people, like, even create lots, like, buildings. Like, a single house, let alone create a whole ward, you know? I could never do that. It is, like out of my capabilities. I get distracted way too easily. And again, I'm not sure if it's ADD or ADHD or if there's nothing, but I'm, you know, this is just who I am. I just 
can't focus for no reason. <laughs> All right. Wow, late night stream. I'm so mad I can't play this because my PC taking forever to build and ship. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. For, first of all, I'm sorry again that this is so late. But I woke up so late and yeah. Uh, second of all, I'm sorry that your PC is taking forever to be shipped. You know, this is like, I believe, because of Corona. So, yeah. Hopefully a vaccine will be coming out soon. Because I want to buy VR trackers. I, I, cannot ask, I cannot have them right now. So I want to have them shipped once, you know, this whole mess is going. Uh, hello, NXP Voltage. Imagine Times Square and Sims 4 with CC. I don't live in the US, so I don't know what Times Square looks like. However, I've heard that it looks amazing. What is the better buddy mod called? Um, let me see. Because I installed it yesterday. Mod CC4. It is called. Ba. What the hell? <laughs> Medium Muscles with Apps version 3? I'm sure that that's not right. Medium Muscles with Apps Sims 4. Yes, it's called Bigger Chests Slash Ab Muscles for Males. That's what it calls. <laughs> Can we play with our own characters? Yes. You can. There is a story mode and there is a, you know, free play mode. Mo m m free play mo mood. No. Story mode... Free play mode. Yeah. <laughs> All you have to do is after creating a family, you can click on E. Mailbox and select go to Brook Heights. How much money does that mod cost? I believe it's five dollars for the beta testing which is extremely cheap if you ask me because look at how many different things it adds like holy snaps this should like this should be to actually maybe thirty dollars <laughs> but it's only five it's cheaper than a stuff bag it's amazing um, you can go to our news Patreon. I don't have a link in the description. Unfortunately, I should have have done that. Um, but you can get it from there. Let me put a link in the description really quick for our news Patreon. There we go. And warning, please check the resolution of the video. The current resolution is that, which is okay. Don't tell me how to live stream. All right, so this is his Patreon. Get the mod from here. There we go, save. All right. Back to the game. I'm not trying to sound like a uh, Nintendo, dr wait, I need to put this here. I'm not trying to sound like Nintendo drone, but EA should probably ask Nintendo for some advice on how to probably make an open world game without so much lag. <laughs> I mean, they could ask so many companies like Rockstar, for example, um, the company that makes Watch Dogs, Ubisoft. Um, the company, I think Ubisoft also makes um, Just Cause, or am I mistaken? But they could learn, like, if they don't want to ask, because I don't think you can ask, because that's like competition. But you can learn how to do that, like, are you kidding me? There are so many open world games out there that doesn't lag, you know? Um... Where do you live? What country? I live in a country called Jordan. It's in the Middle East. Where's his accent from? 
Oh shit. <laughs> I love how no one could figure out what my accent is because it's so like mixed. It is so weird. But um I'm originally from Jordan, Middle East. But my accent is mixed because I watch so many different YouTubers from different parts of the world. So I watch like YouTubers from the US, from the UK, from Sweden, um, like live streamers from Canada. So when I talk, it's like all of these accents combined into one. <laughs> All right. It will be free after a few weeks also. That is amazing. Place the car in word, select drive car, uh, then drive it manually by selecting right vehicle here, step by step. Neil Simming, first of all, welcome to the stream. Second of all, I already done that a long time ago. I think you either are watch is watching a replay, like you have scrolled back or you you came just right now and you're trying to tell me how to do it right now, which I already did. EA should hire you, sis, and other modders. I thought you were from Serbia. Serbia, interesting. <laughs> Thank you, Valentine. Um, you think I don't? Th they'll listen. Let's talk about this when it comes to hiring modders. First of all, I don't think that will ever happen. Second of all. I would be the last person they would hire because I have a very, very violent kind of mods and that is bad for their reputation. Imagine like if I was hired being called like Sim Guru Sacrificial or Sim Guru Luke, whatever. And then someone who doesn't play with mods search like Sim Guru Sacrificial. They're going to have like search results of like extreme violence mod life tragedies uh possessed child haunted mirror and they're gonna be scarred they're, they're gonna be scarred forever they're gonna see things they did not want to see so they would they'll never ever hire me unless they change my name like after hiring me they're like okay you need to change your name you're now called sim guru rainbows and butterflies and you have to deal with it. But either way, they will never hire me because when I applied, I wanted, I once applied to The Sims to see what they're going to tell me as a response. However, they had rules. Like you cannot have, I believe, OCD. You cannot have bipolar disorder. You cannot have ADHD or ADD or... And girl, I think I have all of these at once. So even if they wanted to hire me for whatever reason, I have so many mental issues that they don't agree with, which is fucked up, by the way. Why are you, like, judging mental illness, EA? What the fuck? Even if I, you know, was accepted, they would not accept me because I have some, you know, mental problems which is fucked up look at that y'all oh it's night it's night let's go and see if that person is back the bartender dude all right life's manager ward focus camera on i don't think he's here he's not here god damn it I was hoping to see him. All right, I'm going to take a quick break. But meanwhile, while I'm on a break, I'm going to give Ernie the autonomous killing option. So he can kill whoever he wants while I'm away. So autonomy, enable, autonomous killing. Actually for active household. But please don't kill each other though. Stay away from each other. Don't kill each other. And we're going to give him the options. Open gunfire autonomy. Where is that? 
enable open gunfire autonomy and I'm gonna enable life tragedies there we go now I'm gonna be right back um I haven't read the chat, I'm sorry by the way, but I'm gonna go on the be right back and I'm gonna let you enjoy Ernie, uh, not Ernie, Ernie is the creator, <laughs> Amos do his stuff, but I'm gonna place him in the world so, you know, he has more access to sims. I am so sorry, this guy is probably the nicest sim to be ever created and I'm over here having him murder sims and stuff, that is messed up. All right, go here. Actually, pee here, meanwhile. All right, y'all, be right back. I'm gonna, like, eat a couple of chips, smoke a cigarette, and be back. Be right back. Okay. Be right back. No, that's not it. It is. Be right back. And I'm gonna place it above the sims. There we go. Nice. Now, remove your camera. And mute your microphone. Be right back, yo. Bravo. Ah, cobbler down. Tempa. Ah. Uh, with me, Tim Buffet.
Oh, hold, hold on. I'm not back yet, but girl, what did I say? I said don't kill each other and from all people in this world, you decide to kill Amos? Are you kidding me? Go revive him. Oh, she's gonna kill um the, not the Kalente, the Pleasant View next. Is it called the Pleasant View or the Pleasant? The Pleasant. She was gonna kill um Lilith. Where is she? I think she's called Lilith. What is happening? All right, bring him back to life, so I can go back to my break. Revive. God damn it. Wait, hold up. The bartender is back. I cannot show my face because I'm smoking. I don't want to influence anyone. But hopefully I'll finish my cigarette before, you know, he's gone. All right, I'm back. Let's put the cam. Let's remove the B rights back. There we go. Oh my god. He's gonna... What the? Where? What the? What the? <laughs> what kind of uh, assault rifle do you have? Um... This is not an option. It's not like there's no recolor, but I think he's supporting like 
Pride Month or some Pride. Uh, because, you know, his shirt is also rainbow. So I support that. You go, girl. Uh, you go, boy. All right, now it's time to kill that bartender because I've seen him standing right here. Oh, is he gone again? Are you kidding me? No, there he is. I'm going to run him over with the car. Even though it's not the most brutal one, there is one that is more brutal, which is gun down off bike. That's the most brutal one, I believe. Is there anyone, anything more brutal? Oh, I can crash him with, I can throw a helicopter at him also. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna run him over with a car because, you know, we're in the city and that's fitting. So let's do that. That chat, let's read the chat. Um, it's Purge Night in the Sims. <laughs> Only for these two Sims. Alright, I haven't read a lot of this, unfortunately, but I will be reading it once the stream is over. But I will start reading it again, start it from now. Alright. No, wait, I don't want to do it inside. Is he inside? No, he's outside. Okay, we're going to run him over in the sidewalk. Crashing through these tables and everything. Alright. Hold on. I want to take a good look at this. Because motherfucker, first of all, he did not serve us our food. He he took the food, he kept it in his hands. He smashed our head with a bottle. And then he went outside and put the food on the ground for us to take. Even though we paid for it twice. So he deserves this. There we go. That's what your bitch ass get. All right. You know what? You know what I want to do? I want to revive him <laughs> and throw a helicopter at him. What? You're mad? Cause... Don't judge me. You've seen what he's done to me. He killed me first. Um, how to have more home in life manager. More home? What do you mean by that? What do you mean more home? I'm actually shocked about the whole not hiring people from mental illnesses. Like nobody asked to be born with a mental illness. You cannot do this to people. I know. And I was shook when I saw it too. Like they literally have, you know, they make you like put a check or something on certain questions like do you suffer OCD do you suffer from bipolar or something and I believe that it's there because if you check any of them it means that okay we cannot hire you we're not gonna hire people who have this or that and I understand that from a production let's say point of view like if you have let's say bipolar disorder you're going to be productive one month and the next month you might have a depressive episode and that's going to like affect the product the production of you know the workflow of the company but <sighs> it's still fucked up though it's still fucked up like they should offer like you know maybe a 3 months period where they can give you um a therapy or a therapist that you can talk to and stuff and help you with this stuff be before working on the company. I don't know. Ow. Justice helps, yeah. Please help. Okay, uh, please reform your question because I don't understand what you mean by house or more house. Your favorite YouTube simmer? Uh, that is a tough question. I cannot decide. Um, I love a lot. I love so many different like uh, simmer YouTubers. Plumbella being one of them. She's amazing. Uh, we also have Call Me Kevin. He's not really 
a simmer, but he does play as The Sims a lot. He has like more than a hundred videos on The Sims. Um, of course, Dilly Gracie, I love her so much. And X Mira Mira, it's me, Troy. Um, Lucky Girl B, even though I believe she's on a break from posting videos because I haven't seen her post videos lately, but as she's active on Instagram. There, there are a lot. I love a lot of uh, YouTube simmers. Like, they're amazing. They're the best. Uh, again! Again with the rainbow assault rifle. I, I don't know how he's doing that, but it's amazing. Uh, so, yeah. And there are a lot of simmers that I haven't mentioned that I love watching. So, I'm sorry that I did not. K-pop, by the way. Queen K-pop. Again, she's not a simmer. Um, she plays a lot of games. And I think she's kind of away from The Sims lately. But I love her. Like, she's... She's been an inspiration for me, actually, to make videos in the first place. I started watching her, like, maybe six years ago with her Sims 3 Pregnant Challenge. And I love her so much. So, yeah. Can you use the P mod to pee on his... Oh, to pee on his corpse? What the... F Girl, that is a fucked up. <laughs> what the hell? Girl! <laughs> oh! I mean, yes, that is possible. You can do it, but it's so fucked up. He needs to pee anyway, so let's see. Oh. Oh. A girl. What the? F <laughs> that is so disgusting. Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right. Um, I wish The Sims was more, was obsessive, complicit, disorder friendly. Yeah. I wish they were, f like, mental illness friendly, you know, but I don't know. It's not The Sims. It's not The Sims team. It's EA. Please, like, it, The Sims team has nothing to do with this. It's EA. Because the forum is applied to EA and not The Sims. Um... Call Me Kevin is my favorite for Sims. He's amazing. And I'm adding player-controlled kidnapping to the life tragedies this month, along with Jason Voorhees. Uh, so I hope he's going to enjoy that, because he requested that. He said he wanted the mod with kidnapping. So I cannot wait to see if he played with it, what he's going to do with it. He's pretty wild. I love that about him, that he doesn't care about... You know, things being fucked up. Um, he's very... Out there, let's say. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, Jesse, hey, what's up? Welcome. See, I'm reading the chat this time. I have not ig ignored you, thankfully. So, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Um, I like you too. Uh, you're very out there also and i love people who are out there and who live in the same country as me that is insane um i'm so thankful for that hopefully you know we can take this further in the future we, like when i'm less busy and stuff maybe we can work not work together but you know do stuff together somehow we'll talk about it Um, are you gonna release any new mods this year? Hell yeah. Hell to the yes. I'm releasing the Life Tragedies update. Or did you mean a completely new mod? Like, not an update, but a whole new mod. Yes, also, I will be. I will be releasing a mod to pee and poo anywhere. Um, there's gonna be update to the Life Tragedies to add Jason and player-controlled kidnapping. 
and I still haven't um, decided what I want to work on next, but there will be releases coming this year for sure. Jeffrey Dahmer? Oh, hell no. I hate that motherfucker. If you guys don't know who that is, he's a ser he's a real life serial killer. He's not from a movie or something. Um, wait, what is she doing? Who did you kill? What the? He's a real life serial killer that actually killed real life people, and that is messed up. And he looks like shit. I don't know why people think he looks attractive. When I saw his interviews, he looks like sh. I'm sorry. <laughs> But he looks like shit. And I'm saying that because he's a serial killer. If he was like... Like a content creator. If he was like... A game developer. A decent human being. I'll be like, okay, he's attractive. But since he's a fucking serial killer. No, he's, he looks like garbage. He looks like trash. Fuck him. I think he's dead now. I think he was sentenced to death. What happened to him? Let me see. I'm sorry to be talking about this, um, like, very adult-ish topic. Alright, died 1994, the same year that I was born. In Columbia Correctional Institution. How did he die, though? How did he die? Was he executed or did he die from like a heart failure? He died. Oh, oh, I remember. Right. I, I seen his story. Someone attacked him in prison. One of the inmates attacked him while he was in prison and he killed him. Rightfully so. Because that motherfucker killed so many innocent people. So he deserves that. Rest in pieces. All right. Um, what about Hoe It Up mod? I know that you guys want me to add more stripping animations, and I will be at one point, but I keep being interested in adding or working on other mods. So please be patient. It will come at one point, but not for now. Not going to lie, I haven't been too motivated to play The Sims. One minute, I'll be thinking of potential story idea. Next minute, I'll be playing or at least thinking about other another game. Girl, I don't blame you. I mean, I mostly play the game just to, you know, work on the mods and stuff, but I play other games as well. And you have a Switch, and the Switch has so many amazing games. So, you know, I would be playing the Switch too if I had it. But I don't because I don't, I don't want to get distracted because, girl... I want to keep focusing on the mods. I'm getting Sims 3 for my birthday. I mean Christmas. Ooh, interesting. I hope you're going to enjoy it. And happy Christmas. Happy early Christmas. And instead of getting better Sims 4, I went backwards and got worse. In gameplay, Sims 3 was the best. I live for open world. Sims 5 needs to be amazing. Pro lives will give the Sims competition. Absolutely. Absolutely. I cannot wait to see what's going to happen. Ah. Bitch, yes, we can hang out for sure. Ah. Wait, she's killing someone. Hold on. Awful reputation. Jasmender. <gasps> wait a minute. No, not Jasmine. She's pregnant. Hold on. Where is she? <gasps> Wait, is she pregnant or did she already give birth? She doesn't have a belly, so I think hopefully she's not pregnant. Um, Where can I see that? Home. Okay, current location. I think I can see that with MC. Current children one. MC pregnancy. Alright, so pregnancy starts. So that means that she's not pregnant, right? She already gave birth. But still, still, she has a child that she needs to take care of. Don't kill her, girl. What are you doing? 
she already died. Oh no, revive her. Where's the Reaper? What is wrong with you? You know that Jasmine Dora is pregnant, the fuck? Alright. Yeah, for sure. I would love to hang out with you one day. Um, You know, once this corona crazy shit is like a little bit more calm, we can go to a cafe or something and uh, hang out there. Oh, girl. It's, it'll be amazing. Um, I also met a guy from Jordan who's also, you know, a Sims player. So maybe we can all hang out together, though. I don't think he want to talk to me anymore. <sighs> That's another story. <laughs> so what about Sims 3 mods? Are you going to do any update? No, no Sims 3 mods. I'm sorry. Uh, I, I forgot how to even create Sims, 4, uh, Sims 3 mods. I created some in the past and then forgot how to do it. I love Sims 3, just wish we had Sims 4 casts in Sims 3. Yeah, that would be amazing. And also build mode uh, would be amazing in the Sims 3 of the Sims 4. It is difficult for me to make Sims. I wish they provide numerical data. That would be amazing. Um, it'll be easier to create also celebrities and like copy styles or something. I believe there was a mod for that in The Sims 3, but I don't think there is in The Sims 4. Um, what's your thoughts on the Bella Golf mystery? Girl, I love the Bella Golf mystery. I, I once installed The Sims 2 and The Sims 3 just to investigate her story and see what happened. And I have a complete like list. I have wrote a complete list of things. Uh, about the mystery, I don't think I have it right now, um, but I do have it, and I eventually, okay, let's revive her, eventually, I think the conclusion is that, he didn't even give me time to, okay, I can revive her, see, this is my life after death helper it's helpful in this situation if i click this she's gonna come back i believe she's gonna be in my household but i can remove her all right remove from family there we go oh L Flex? Is she Marcus Flex's brother? I didn't know that. No, she's the witch. She's from um Realm of Magic. Okay. My conclusion is that Bella Golf was abducted at Don Lothario's house. And the reason why she was at Don's house is because she caught him sneak like looking at her through the telescope if you play the sims 2 as don lothario when you select to like sneak or look at neighbors mortimer actually visits don to yell at him and tell him that you know you have been looking at me and i think bella was doing the same thing i think she went to don to yell at him and she was abducted there however the abduction was planned, like the Caliente sisters and also Dawn are part of this. And I believe that they wanted Bella abducted because they wanted to take the money of Mortimer. I'm not sure if it was Dina or Nina who started dating Mortimer. Or did she? I don't know. Someone was into Mortimer, I think, because she wanted his money. And one of them married Bella's brother. So it's all like connected in one circle that the Caliente sisters wanted to gain the girl's family money. And I believe that's why they did that. And after she was abducted, uh, after Bella was abducted, I believe she was cloned multiple times because uh, they loved her looks and personality. She was, so she was cloned and... They placed a copy of her in Stranger Stranger Town or Strange Town. But the real Bella Goth 
I believe they put her in the Sims 3 DLC ward or something. Or maybe also that Bella who was in that ward was also a clone. Because I believe she does have multiple clones of her. Like the aliens have cloned her. So she remains, I believe, with the aliens. Like they are using her genetics to clone more and more people like Bella. That's my theory. Um, wait, where am I? You're confused with him, with Ted Bundy, who doesn't look like absolute shit, but what, what he did makes him an absolute shit. <laughs> no, I'm not confusing him with Ted Bundy. Uh, I know who Ted Bundy is, and he also looks like shit as well. They both look like shit, because they are serial killers, so far both of them. Um, <laughs> I don't understand how some people find serial killer attractive. I know, right? Like, okay, I could understand that, okay, this guy looks attractive. But I understand how some people could become fans of them. Like, I've heard stories that some girls or guys are huge fans of them. They send him, they used to send them letters to the prison that, oh my God, I'm your biggest fan. Please marry me when you're out. Girl, what the f You want to get married to a serial killer that is going to murder you while you're asleep? What the f Anyway. Uh, Pickles. Yeah, thank you. He did got uh, murdered by his cellmate. Just joined the stream. What's going on? <laughs> a lot. A lot has happened. Basically, they have turned into serial killers. And they're killing everyone. And I... Wait, don't kill her again. He was going to kill Jasminder again. Don't do it. Zon... Zon Zue... I need to do this. Hold on one second, please. Um. In case you guys don't know this meme, uh, I'm happy to show it to you right now. All right, so I'll remove this. All right, where's my desktop? Um, there, yes. Don't, 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 don't do it. Don't, don't do it. <laughs> that exactly. Don't do it. Stop. All right, she's safe. Fill your needs. All right, let me continue with the chat. Usually, I'm very bad at reading the chat, but I'm purposely reading every single one of them in this one because I'm tired of not reading your chat all the time. All right. Um, I think he tried to change his life around. Who, Jeffrey? After being in prison? I mean, I don't... I don't find that, you know, acceptable. Like, even when you kill, like, he killed 14 people, I believe. Innocent people, by the way. And teenagers who were underage. I don't care if you become, like, the most innocent, peaceful person in the whole world. You've, you've done what you've done. Some things are unforgivable. And... Murdering innocent people is unforgivable, no matter how good of a person you become. So even if he changed his life, I don't care. Stop trying to kill Jasminder. All right. Um, excluding your mods, what's your favorite mods? All right. Mods that I absolutely cannot live without are the UI cheat extension. The cast, more cast columns, better exceptions, um, what else? Stop trying to kill Jasminder. Um, let me see what mods I have. Oh, uh, the pose player by Andrew and the Andrew's effect player. 
also. And excluding my mods. Of course, all the CC items that I have. There, I have so much CC, like clothes, hair. Not much clothes, but a lot of hair and skin tones. Um, yeah. Those are the mods that I cannot live without. Oh, um, Twisted Mixies also not only better exceptions, but also he has other mods that I use, uh, like all cheats, like uh, testing cheats is always enabled, create a sim is always enabled, more debug cheats is unlocked, and I recently got in the better build buy, which allows you to like filter things better and also. It has other features that I still haven't tried out yet. Stop trying to kill Jasminder! Why Why is he so consistent on killing her? There are so many other sims around. Alright. Who was this? Alex Moyer. Okay. Uh, hello. Gotta go for the night. Love you. Thank you for coming. Enjoy your night. All right, where am I? Hello, gamer unit. I'm moving to United States, Boston. Good luck with your move in. They're supposed to be having an update, they say, on 64 bits. Oh, I've heard that about The Sims 3. Yeah, they said that they're... Oh my God, he's still trying to kill Jasminder. Poor girl. What is wrong with you? Hopefully that will increase the performance of the game. And I'm going to try it out once, you know, they update that. Do you have a Discord server? Yes, I do. It is called... I don't know what it's called. Uh, <laughs> let me try to get the link. Um, Discord. Um, It's on my website. If you go to my website and go to social media tab... There is my Discord server there. What are your thoughts on the the pancake one, uh, Theo? He's amazing, y'all. Like, he's a genius. He's an amazing person, and he's also been helping me a lot, like with a lot of a lot of things that I couldn't figure out with myself. So whenever I run into a modding issue that I cannot solve or whatever. I talk to him and he helps me out with solving the problem. So props to him. He's a genius. He's amazing. Very helpful. And he creates amazing mods also. Um, oh no, they have killed one of the pleasant girls. <gasps> What the fuck? Karma? Yeah, I think karma took place. She killed the innocent pleasant girl. I, I forgot her name. Angela. She killed Angela, then got run over with the taxi. Oh my god. And <laughs> Jasmine is happy. Why is he complaining about Jasminder? Cause she's well, she's happy cause she killed her earlier. That's why she's happy. So, so like, rightfully so. Oh my God! Rest in peace, Amelia Brooks. We did not do your story correctly. I am so sorry, Arnie. I know this is not what you wanted. To happen with your open world. <laughs> but this is what we're doing. Alright. <laughs> um, she married Marcus. She married Marcus. Like in the game. In my game. Only or 
you know, in general. Most video games mysteries I play, I pay attention to nowadays are about Zelda or Splatoon, but I definitely found the Billy Gelt mystery very interesting. Zelda has a lot of um, theories and mysteries, at least the older ones. I'm not sure about the Breath of the Wild, but I know the older ones have a lot of um, mysteries. Most video game mystery, oh, <laughs> that's the same one. <laughs> Zon Zue. Oh my god. Can you call bad baby? <laughs> sure, why not? Let's let's zoe. Where is she? Come over, girl. Enjoy the open world. Um I can't believe without more cast columns when an update come out and it breaks. I will wait however long it takes to get my columns. It is so helpful. Like it saves so much time. All right. I need to go to sleep. Good night. Have a good night. Have a good sleep. An update for The Sims 364 bit. Hey, welcome. <laughs> Your game is so chaotic. I still haven't done anything. Like all I did was enable autonomous killing for a couple of sims and enable tragedies. Imagine enabling all the other like mods or options. Oh my god. The aspect of surprise is what I need, what we need in the sims. <laughs> I agree, like, Sims 4 Sims are so expected, I don't know what's the word, predicted, so, Grim Reaper has gotten enough, he's mad, he's gonna come here and um, beat us up, rightfully so. Whoa, 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 what the hell? How did she survive the gun, sh the shotgun shot to the face? What the hell? Girl is strong. And Grim is like, you know what? I'm done. You've killed too many sins. Um, and I don't have all day to reap souls. I want to go home. Fuck off. All right. <laughs> Has did he reap her yet? No. She's still dying and people start crying over her. Poor Amelia Brooks. I mean, if Arnie watched this live stream, he's going to be crying, as I said. He spent a year working on this mod and my dumb ass done downloaded the mod. And started killing sims and shit. Mm -mm -mm. The sims in the sims 4 are just very surface level. Like they are pretty but has no substance. Totally agree. And I think the emotion system is so broken. And that is like one of the bad things about this game. All right, so we have not done this mod justice at all. And this is why I said, you know, I'm trying out my mods in this uh, mod. <laughs> um, it's because I wasn't gonna like explore every single thing because there's a lot of things in here to explore. Like I only like explored 5% of what this amazing mod has to offer, but what I really want to try is the open cinema thing. So I'm going to wait until it's 8 p.m., I believe. Yes, um, I'm going to wait until it's 8 p.m. and come watch uh, the cinema. Like OOT. What is OOT? From what I heard, there are a lot of theories about a crane oh OOT is a crane of time right thank you Lily and Majora's mask also 
I'm not surprised since that the game. That's the game in the series that created the timeline split. Right. I need a good computer. Fuck. <laughs> I mean. I have a good computer, though I have this set to medium, I believe. I usually play on Ultra, but I believe that Arnie has optimized the medium to have high, you know, uh, resolution and stuff. But what I'm experiencing is more of a simulation lag, which means that interactions are taking longer to load, etc. And I think it's because I have other mods installed. I'm not sure though. Um, can't lie. When some of my sims go to nightclub, I use your hover up mod and the town just gets shook. <laughs> I'm happy that you play with it and hopefully have fun with it. Uh, girl? Girl? Oh, she's shook because we're beating up. What the fuck is going... <laughs> We are already outside, girl. Catch me outside. How about that? What, what you wanna do? Catch me outside. How about that? Girl. Catch me outside. How about that? Poor Amos. I feel so bad. Oh my god. Catch me outside. Why is she scared? Why are you running? Is it? Oh, she saw a dead body. She's not a killer. She doesn't kill Sims. She just like steals their money, snatches their weaves, threatens them, punches, but she doesn't kill. So, yeah. One of the mods I can't live without is the Hoe It Up and Wicked Whims. Lovely. <laughs> um, I don't use Wicked Whims. I used it multiple times, but it is a little bit too much for me. Because even though like I like... The, the mod is amazing and everything. But I get too distracted when I download it. Like, I keep using it so much. <laughs> And I, and I, you know, I have to delete it. Because when I have Wicked Whims, like, I keep pressing on a bed and, like, woohoo with someone. And I'm like, girl, stop. Alright, so. This is going to be it for this live stream. But before I go, I'm going to sing something. Because I love to do that every time. And I'm going to sing today. Don't Call Me Angel by Ariana by Miley Cyrus by Queen of Poetry, Lana Del Rey. All right, instrumental. Let's do this. But first, I'm going to do like a quick test to make sure that the sound is right. Boy, don't call me. I cannot hear myself. Hold on. Boy, don't call me angel. Yeah, you got me right. Don't call me angel. You ain't get my way. <laughs> Heaven. Yeah, you heard me right. Yeah, you heard me. Even though you know we fly. Don't call me angel. Ah, uh, don't call me angel when I'm a mess. Don't call me angel when I get undressed. Uh, you know I, I don't like that boy. Okay, I want to see if the volume is right. Because, is that it? Wait, I didn't stop recording. My dumb ass. Okay, stop recording. And this is gonna, like after I sing this, I'm gonna have to end the live stream. And I'm gonna try to make a funny moment, even though there is not a lot happened. Maybe it's going to be a five minutes video, which is good because, you know, not everyone has time to watch like a 20 minutes video or something. So five minutes, I think it's going to be suitable for everyone. All right. Boy, don't call me. I cannot hear myself. Hold. Boy, don't call me angel. Yeah, you got me right. Don't call me angel. 
doing, Gamma? Okay, the volume is a little bit loud on the music, so... Okay, I think this is better. It should be better, right? Alright, and let's put on the spotlights lights. Alright. So... Sims 4. But I'm gonna be singing. Alright. Should I turn this on? Just for the song? Alright, let's do it. Okay, give me one second. I just need to like sniffle on stuff. All right, so I'm on the right, and the game is on the left. Okay, perfect. Boy, don't call me angel. You ain't got me right. Don't call me angel. You can't pay my price. Ain't from no heaven. Yeah, you heard me right. Yeah, you heard me. Even though you know we fly. Don't call me angel, uh, to call me angel when I'm a mess, to call me angel when I get undressed, uh, you know I, I don't like that boy, I make my money and I write the checks, so say my name with a little respect, all my girl sex is full, and you just are guest, do I really need to say it? Do I need to say it again? Yeah, you better stop sweet talk and keep your pretty mouth shut up, boy. Don't call me angel. You ain't got me right. Don't call me angel. You can't pay my price. In from no heaven. Yeah, you heard me right. Yeah, you heard me. Even though we know we fly, don't call me angel. See you there was somebody Sizing up on my body Oh yeah Don't you know that I right when it's sunset mm -hmm, no, no, without me My world work out without me Oh yeah Don't you know that I right when it's sunset Keep your man out your mouth I lost the the lyrics, god damn it Let me do um Ariana's uh, section again Cause I can't find the lyrics anymore See you there with somebody Says I bought my body yeah. Oh yeah Don't you know that I bite when it's sunset So don't you try to come around me My world was there with not me Oh yeah Don't you know that I bite when it's sunset Keep my name out your mouth I know what you about So keep my name out your mouth Boy, don't call me Hey John you ain't got me right, don't call me angel You can't pay my price, ain't no from heaven Oh shit <laughs> Alright, how, how can I become Lana Del Rey? Okay I appreciate the way you watch me I can lie it through the time I pick it up Back it off the gun and line of fear from heaven Now I'm living like a devil You can get me off your mouth I totally get it You can guess who you can get me A few more hands We're in it together But don't call me angel Boy, boy Don't call me angel Okay, this was trash Okay, I hate this performance First of all, I cannot hear myself Because my microphone is dumb If you want to increase your volume Like the way you hear yourself You gotta increase the volume of the music as well Which sucks ass but also my throat hurts also this song i haven't sung this song that many times so i'm sorry 
But anyway, I'm pretty sure that you guys are gonna be, be like, oh, you sang nice, even though I sang like shit. You guys, you guys need to stop being nice to me. أنا ما أفهم اللغة الإنجليزية. Okay, أهلا وسهلا فيك. I'm sorry, there's someone Arabian in the chat, so I'm talking to him in Arabic. I don't know if you're still there or you're out. I'm sure you're still out, but أهلا وسهلا فيك بالlive stream. حياك حبيبي. Um, I wish I had sacrificial confidence, girl. You thought? <laughs> no, I don't. I'm not. I don't have confidence. I'm just random. Um, you guys gave me confidence though, like because y'all always be like, okay, you're very, you sound good even though I sound like shit, and <laughs> you you're never upset when I sing. That's why I keep singing this. But anyway. This was trash. Um, but anyway, this was this is gonna be it. Sing wop. I already sang wop, but I'm gonna sing the first verse. Oh my god. I'm gonna say wit and gushy instead of you know, because I don't wanna be adultish. Let's go. I said certified freak, seven days a week. With anguish, make that pull up game weak. Ah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you messing with some with anguish. We got a bucket and a mop for that with anguish. Give me everything you got for that way and gushy. Now get your boots, hang your coat. Fuck this way and gushy. He's got a phone just for pictures of this way and gushy. I'm talking what, what, what for that way and gushy. Macaroni in the butt for that way and gushy. Hey. <laughs> all right, yo. That was the wrong lyrics, but well, that's all I know of the song. Anyway. Thank you all for coming to this live stream. This mod is amazing. As I said, I haven't even like explored 5% of it. There is so much more to the mod. And I don't think I'm going to be playing with it again because I am so distracted. Like I'm so easily distracted. At least not on a live stream. I mean, maybe I'll try it out again and like start the purge or something. But unfortunately, because... There is a simulation lag happening uh, that is making the interaction taking forever to happen. So I'm not going to do that. But, of course, y'all know my thoughts on this. This mod is amazing. I cannot even believe that someone was able to create such a mod. I haven't checked the cinema, though. I'll just check the cinema real quick. Oh, it's already on? Or is it broken? Who broke the screen? Hold on. Who broke the screen? I cannot watch the cinema anymore. God damn it. Some dumb ass done broke the screen. Now we cannot watch movies. That's fine. That's fine. I might check it out again. <laughs> but yeah, 5 out of 5. Uh, 10 out of 10. If you'd like to have the mod yourself uh, and explore everything since I haven't covered anything uh, the link is in the, in the description it's currently in the early access period for five dollars which is extremely cheap for what it has and this mod is going to keep growing more and more and become better and better with each update this is only the beta version 0.2 and yeah, thank you all so much for coming to this live stream. I hope you had fun with it and see you guys later. So have a good day, have fun, and I don't know when it's out for Patreon, honestly. Um, I think it's mentioned on his Patreon page, but I'm not sure though. But you can check it out. But see you guys later. I'm so hungry, I'm going to have some dinner. Have a great day, have fun, and bye. I love you all so, so, so much.
拜拜。